Right, so this new video on absolutely everything in my intruder alarm collection. So this is only part of it, so I'll start here. We have a Castle Caretech Amiga 5 alarm panel. I got this off a security guy in a trade. I'm selling that on eBay if anyone's interested. We've got a yellow Ventcroft Defender. It's quite wide. It's branded by MCA. We've got an Alarmcom IR220C, branded by Form Security. We've got an Optec CX50. We've got this Rockinet Cosmos Dual Tech PIR. We've got a Kinetic Extension Speaker. Two single push metal clad CQR panic buttons. There's a Pyronix Equinox, and we've got a Texacom Premier Elite DT. I think it's a QD, can't remember. We've got a CNK Systems. 800L panel, panel and keypad, and then we've got this old American bell box alarm by Dictograph. We've got this Bentley Symphony 2. This is one of my favourite panels. It's a very cool panel, it's from 1991. We've got the last Pyronix Delta Bell covering crew, it's the last one I've got. We've got a Winton JB K170 key switch alarm panel and over there we've got a Chubb Delta 5 and here we have a Thief Check Hoover DIY alarm system it's only the bell box, the panel I don't have so it's a very cool bell box but it's packed away but there's a little image of it there we've got one Rakel Gardel Apollo D and they look like that one Rakel Gardel IR 772 Mark II, and that's what they look like there. Brand new, still sealed in its box. We have got an Elmdeen Primer 500, it's a live one. It works fine as well. Here we have a broken Munford and White CPB2 from 1983, that's completely broken. I just keep it because it's quite a nice old panel. We've got a Gardner Technology Nova Guard Delta with two twin red strobes. We've got a Gardner Technology Nova Guard 1, which has got speaker inside. I've got a video on that on my channel if, if anyone's interested. By the way, that's only its temporary sticker. I need to get a proper sticker for it at some point. We have a yellow Texacom Tempest. It's a dummy box with a back back plate. And we've got a decoy in bottom of arms bell box. It's got the bracket for the anti foam vents. And we've got a live telecom security bell box. This was actually the first ever bell box I had in my collection. So that's the module there, it's the same as you'd see in an ADT bell box. The later ones, anyway. Here we have a Scantronic Euro bell with extension strobe. That's a nice box, and then we've got this Nintech box. So that's this little section over here, and now we're going to go onto the wall. So we'll start over here. What I'm going to try and do with these boxes, I'm going to try and explain a bit about them, where I got each of them from. So starting over here, this is a Chubb Delta 4 made by Raykel. I got this off a relative's house. It was the logo I was painted off, it was really rusty underneath. So I sanded it and painted it and got a new logo for it to try and get it up to the best condition as possible. And it's one of my favourite bell boxes. Here we have a Geotector NJF4089, one of the biggest PIRs in my collection. And we have a Gardel Apollo Solo, which was originally connected to this in a system with a Chubb Windsor panel. And next we have this round form security box. That's I got from alarms and stuff. It's quite big compared to that. Next is possibly my favourite bell box in the whole collection. It is a blue Gardner Technology Nova Guard Delta. They're extremely rare to see in blue. It's branded by Expert, as you can see. Next we have, that was live by the way as well. It's a dual skinned box with a metal back plate, but the cover is polycarbonate. Here we have a metal Type D, 4 vented, 
Panda by Panda with an orange strobe on it. Can't remember where I got it from now, but it's a nice box. Here we have a polypropylene CQR type CQR type S. A blue strobe on the bottom. And I got that from Audio Troll 1003 off of eBay. Here we have a Winston JB free vented type S. It's metal, branded by Secure Place, as you can see. Inside, I think it's got a Phoenix Mobile. And I got that off eBay as well. Here we have a metal type S vented bell box. Can't remember the brand because it doesn't say inside. Branded by Blue Circle, as you can see. That was one of my latest refurbishment projects. Then further along we have got a CQR Type H polycarbonate in yellow. I need to get a bit of that muck off so I can get a new sticker for it. I got that from Audio Tron 1003 in a trade. Here we have a CQR Type H in polypropylene branded by Best. Got that off a Facebook marketplace for £20 I think. Then we have a CQR Type H in polycarbonate, branded by Red Alert, with a big strobe bolted on top. That's always been white, so I just gave it another coat of paint so that it was a bit faded. Here we have a CQR Type H in polypropylene. It's just got a siren and a strobe inside. Need to get around to getting a sticker for it. Then here we have a Ventcroft Type C in polypropylene, branded by Haven Security. Got that off eBay as well. Here we have another Bentcroft Type C in polypropylene. It's yellow and it's branded by Interceptor as you can see. Next we have another Bentcroft Type C in polypropylene. I spray painted it blue by the way. It was originally white because <clears throat> I had quite a few of these white ones once upon a time. It's got this big strobe on top for a bit of a joke. I think it looks quite nice though. Looks alright. And here, another great bell box that I really, really like is a CQR anti foam bell box. Well, I call it a tombstone, but it's blue. It was originally white, but I prefer them in blue, so a bit dusty on top as I haven't given them a wipe in a while. Here we have the four Regal Safe boxes. They're all metal, those two don't have strobe lenses, although that has a bolt on strobe. And we have two strobe lenses. That's a dummy. That's a live, that's a decoy, and that's also a decoy. So that's the only live one, it's got a little LED there as well. And then we have a white Pyronix Decibel with a blue lens. This is live, fully working. Here we have another type H, which is a CQR one, in polypropylene. It's white and it's brand new. I've got quite a few of these on eBay if anyone's interested for £29.99 each, and there's three available. So I'll put a link in the description. Here we have an Elmdeen Prisma Series 3. Well, it's actually Top Lock Prisma Series 3, branded by Cobra. It's a live box as well. One of my favourites. And I can't remember where I got that from. And that came from Alarms and stuff, by the way. I know it's for just on eBay. And that was also from eBay, by the way. Right. Last four boxes here. Well, actually, why am I saying four? I don't know, actually. There's eight of them here. So starting up here, this is a polycarbonate red CQR Type C with a white sticker on, Abacus as you can see. Inside we've got a Lintec siren with a strobe and an SAB and a tamper switch. And here we have a red polypropylene CQR Type C. It's got some strange siren inside and a strobe on the outside. Here we have a white polycarbonate CQR Type C. Branded by East Midlands Electricity Security Systems. Inside is a Carter Super 6 Bell and a strobe. Here we have another polycarbonate CQR Type C in red. We've got a strobe on the outside. You can see it's branded by Cobra. Inside we've got an SAB, Fried Lamb Master Bell, Tampa Switch, and an internal strobe. Here we have a yellow CQR Type C in polypropylene. And it's got a siren inside and just a strobe. As you can tell, I like decking out my boxes with internals. Here we have a bar alarm Type C, non-vented. It's the same 
It's the same shape as that, but it doesn't have vents on. I think it's made by CEQR, but it doesn't say anything about it. The back plate's a hell of a lot different. Inside we've got a Phoenix siren. And nothing else, because I need this drove for something else. Here we have a non-vented Type-C, branded by MAS Alarm. This one doesn't have a back plate, so it's just on by a screw. And by the way, those two are polypropylene, so is this as well. As you can tell, it's bulging quite a lot. So yeah, it's made by CQR and it's polypropylene as you can see. It was all grey, so I gave it another coat of paint to liven up of it. So and that's it for my intruder alarm collection. That is absolutely everything I have. Probably a few, maybe a few odds and sods lying around here and there, but that's anything of major interest. Be another quick sweep of it all. So yeah, I can't, this, I've got too many boxes to count really, but I've got a hell of a lot of stuff. And I'll also link my eBay in the description. So you, if anyone's interested in buying anything I'm selling, then they can. So yes, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.